Welcome back, this is Ballers Kubo with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I am joined as always by our always under attack squad of Shion, Cosmos, and Chaos. When we last left off, Chaos had just joined our party. Ziggy and Momo are somewhere on the Elsa and we are under attack. Uh, I forgot to actually check Chaos's tech attacks and ether attacks, so let's take a look at those real quick. He does have Angel Wings and Lunar Seal. Lunar Seal we will be seeing a lot of again i do like leveling up those distance tech attacks in terms of ether he does have protective wear uh an ether effect down 25 percent when you use it on an ally i think that does apply to beneficial effects as well i could be wrong about that though uh i also he also has healing dew which will recover all allies for a low amount of HP. I'll probably be using that a lot as well. Kind of makes him sound like a white mage. I wouldn't consider him one, though. All right, we are on board the Elsa. Elsa, it is time to move on. But before I do, I just want to address real fast. I did double check. There is no time constraints on the drills, drilling game or the card game. Um, and there's technically no rewards for the eggs, uh, the battle passport. Uh, I will probably do the drill passport soon, simply because there are actual rewards for that that uh, carry into the real world, and therefore getting them you know, too late makes them damn near useless. So, let us move on. What we need to do is head down into basement number one. Yes, yes I will. Now, just like on board the Wilglin Day, we are not going to be getting any emails while we are under attack. People know that we're under attack, and therefore don't spam us with something. I don't fully understand it. When we are down here, everything has been fully restocked. So, anything that had something in it before, we're going to get again. <laughs> so, either pack. Very nice. I will take it. And I think I saw an enemy. I must have because there's a cutscene to show it off. Possibly. If the game feels like it. The game does feel like it. So I don't really have a choice. I can't go down the stairs. We have to go the long way, which is probably what I would have done anyway. Because I do want to fight the mechs. We use the electromagnetic floor. We might be able to slow down the enemies a bit. Oh, so let's run back and hit the switch. See, I, I'm just apparently an expert at all about all this, because it just does it automatically for me. The anti-intruder program has been activated. All current affected sectors, please evacuate immediately. Repeat. Yes, I, I understand. Go electromagnetic floor. And they, like, freeze in, 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 in their spot. That's weird. Now we have to get to the hangar right away. Well, I want to go down there, but unfortunately the game doesn't let me. I would have rather fought all those guys, to be honest with you. Just let me down. Ugh. But they won't let me because of electromagneticity. Destroy that! We get another ether pack. Very nice. And over here, we can get the same items. I believe the same items that they were here before. Biosphere and Escape Pack, I believe those were the same. Oh, as far as the database, as far as I know, I, can, I couldn't find any new entry, so we're going to be skipping it this time. I don't think anybody minds that much, but once again, I, I didn't find any new entries in there. Uh, even though we did go into hyperspace, they have absolutely nothing new to say about it, except that it probably resembles a wormhole, but that doesn't really answer any questions that I had about that battle. Let's first get to the bridge in order to explain the situation to the person in charge. Can you make it? Don't you remember what I said earlier? I'm built a lot tougher than I look because you look 12. And Sakura, hurry up. That's right. Then let's go. And now we are in charge of the alternate party. Sure. Something like that. And if you remember, we got a lot of points for them. So, let's try to use some of these as much as I can. Let's see. Uh, bodyguard, what does that evolve into? Ether Shift A, uh, Focus Ether Defense, or Focus Ether Attack. And then uh, we've got Recharge, which evolves into Charge X, HP. 
at HP and EP recovery times two. Now the way that I think that works is that I think it just doubles the the healing effects. I don't think it actually heals anything for himself. Uh, but of course, he does have recharge, uh, which is HP recovery on himself. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve that one first, anyway. Actually, no, I'll. I'll just do the ether shifts. That does sound good. Yes, there. And yes, there. So now we have completed, as you can see, this entire branch up here. We have fully completed that. Uh, time to move on to Momo. What else? Yeah, she's got a ton of ether points as well. And we haven't really worked on any of them. So let's go ahead and evolve Live Shop. Let's just do what they give us. Miracle Star. Non-elemental ether attack. I'll take that, that sounds good. And just enough to level this one up as well. Prayer, a heavenly gift for self. That's not really that explanatory, is it? Refine, revive plus HP recovery low on one ally, unfortunately. I think I do require some sort of life spell. So put on refine. Now in terms of skills, I don't think we've really... No, we, we did show this off. But, does he have anything he can do? There, there we go! And he leveled up to level 2 because of that. Very nice. You still have some stuff to work on, so we'll put uh, the scope and the kobold ring. That's good. I don't think the spirit head is really that great. And we'll set those on her. You're in set. Now it's time for tech attacks. Once again, these like that times 10 is freaking awesome. Uh... Let's see, Lightning Fist, because that is your distance attack. I will level that up. And actually, I do have enough for Cyber Kick as well. This is just how awesome in that times 10 is. And Lightning Fist, we're going to go ahead and level up weight a little bit here. Uh, weight to 8 0. That is exactly what I want. A 0. So that means that pretty much whatever a normal attack would do, that's how long you have to wait after you use that. Pretty damn sweet, if I may say so myself. Uh, once again, we can level up these in terms of speed. And I should be able to level... Let's see, Floral Tempest first. I think I can get these all the way. Looks like I can. Very nice. Very nice. So now these two are fully set and ready to go. Uh, I don't think there's really anything for me to equip for him, um, as far as I remember. Uh, yeah, we, we couldn't purchase that for him. Um, uh, you can technically just give him three accessories should you desire, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, that's just my thoughts on it. it prevents poison. You know, we don't want poison resist. Uh, we'll go for... I don't need the attack. What else we got? Scope. Yeah. We, got, we got scope on already. We'll go for dexterity. Agility is good. Agility is good. And then for you, what do you got? Metalware. Yeah, I don't have anything. I sold. Maybe she could wear the fiber suit. I didn't purchase an extra one for her though. So if she could, that's that's my fault for not giving it to her. We'll go, we'll go over the purple ring, and then she can keep the thief ring on for now. Okay. Finally, we are ready to go. Done with the menu. And we got shit to blow up. And, yeah, if I remember right, there was nothing in any of these. And these guys want to fight. It is our first time taking on these mech enemies. I, don't know when to give up. I believe I can... I think it's better to do ether attacks on these guys. Oh, crap. I forgot to set them. Oh, I forgot to set the techs. How could I be so stupid? Ether attack down. These guys do use ether attack. Okay, so you, you've got Lightning Fist, and you can easily take out one of these guys all by yourself, but no, instead, we're not going to be doing that, apparently. You just go ahead and guard for now, and then hopefully, yeah, we get the turn just where I want it. Right there. Okay, so... Are you serious? Are you serious? I screwed that up. Maybe? Maybe we... Yeah, we still kill it. Okay. Uh, still screwed that up, though. 
still screwed that up. So, if you'll excuse me after we get these points, which aren't going to be very much, but I'll take what I can get, and scrap iron. I'm going to go ahead and set those texts, because I forgot to do that. Try to get an antidote. Okay, those are all set. I ended up putting the slash attack for Momo into the quick slot, because I could only have one! Now it's time to fight these guys again. Pretty much going to fight everything that I can around here. Oh, I thought there was a chest over there. I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's fire. Ether upgrade. S. Uh, should I want to use that? I probably would. It probably would be best to use that on Gion at this point uh, because she does have a very good. Are you gonna? Are you gonna come my way? Very good ether that I would like to transfer. If I were to transfer anything, it would be that. Uh, but we haven't gotten it yet. You kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Seriously? And for the record, Floral Tempest is awesome against these guys. Like, over 100 damage. Are you kidding me, dude? What is with these guys? I have to actually walk up to them. I think that is everything here. It looks like it. So I am free to blow these up. Even though I don't think you can... No, they did have something in it. Before. But now we can get an ether upgrade S and an antidote. Now we are ready to get out of here. Just leave our shit behind. We don't really care about it. So we'll just move on. And hopefully we can find the way that we need to go. We're still in control of these guys, even though we went through a door. Now we'll change the situation. Uh oh. We're gonna have to use our smarts for this one as well. If you could do it for me again, game, that would be much appreciated. But, oh, the parties join up. Are you in charge of this ship? She might as well be. Oh, no, I'm just a passenger. More importantly, are you two the only ones on that ship? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, that's right. I'm the Federation government cyborg. Ziggurat. Oh, I guess you get me a nickname. That's right. Call me Ziggy. She is Momo. Stop trying to look up her skirt. She's a reality. She is with the Federation government, just like me. Hello, I'm Momo. Thank you for saving us. I see. I'd like to say, thank goodness you're safe. But enemy units have made the ship. It's way too early to be saying that. Who are these people after you? The enemy units are autotechs that the UTIC organization uses. Basically, their own man fighter craft. They escape from their base, and they're the, the last of the pursuit. Unfortunately, the mother ship has a transfer system. Combat units will continue to arrive unless we destroy the mother ship. Where's the mother ship? So unless we do something, the enemy will overrun the ship. Just means more experience. I'm taking them out with almost one hit every time. Well, one turn, I guess I should say. I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. What? Oh no, don't let it bother you. It isn't your fault, Ziggy. More importantly, we have something to do. We have to do something about that mothership. Yes, yes, we do. Agreed. We can't do much, but we will help too. It's my responsibility to take care of this. Good thinking, Cyborg. We? Oui. As in Momo, too? Yeah, she might not look it, but she's actually more useful than me. That's kind of stretching it. Now, I'd say Ziggy at this point is still, still more important. Really? Why does everybody look at me like this? Well, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. Okay, let's hurry. I don't know what the hand gestures are for. I have too many people to fight the enemy at one time. We should decide who's going to participate in the fighting. Are you going to let me look? They are going to let me look. So, uh, Ziggy, Cosmos, and Shion. But that means I would never get to use Chaos. I'm using Chaos. Level 11, though. Damn it. Now I have to decide what I want to do. Um, 
Yeah, no, let's just put him... Okay, well, what I would need to do right now is actually uh, unequip the accessories off of uh, Ziggy and Momo now that they are in that party, so I'm probably going to take care of that, and I'll meet you back when I have my party for the record, but it's probably going to be chaos. Okay, I have changed my party. We are going to be Chaos Cosmos and Shion for the most part. I left everybody mostly the same. You can actually unequip them uh, when they are reserves. Very, very nice. I'm too used to playing older games. Uh, Fiber Suit, Green Ring, Spirit Pendant on Chaos. He's got space gloves as well. Uh, he came with the Fiber Suit just for the record. I did not buy it for him. Cosmos, uh, D Unit V2. I bought that one in the shop. Uh, White Ring and the Lightning Coat. Uh, and I think the G Shot uh, is an upgrade from the M Shot, but I don't. I think I got that one in an email. I didn't purchase that one. For Xi'an, we got the Fiber Suit, Thief Ring, and Beam Coat. Beam Coat's probably going to be the most useful because they do use Beam quite often. And uh, in terms of skills, I did y do a little bit. I don't think I did any uh, tech attacks, but uh, do I have a third one for you? I don't. You don't have any t skill points. Uh, search Eyes, Evade, plus two, Dexterity, plus two, of course. Extract anymore, but we will get it. We will get it. That is my party moving forward. So, what I need to do is head all the way across here. And I was going to try to lure it to the yellow thing, but it didn't really work out that way. Please but stand down. I don't want meaningless bloodshed. We do have new enemies this time as Chaos introduces what the hell's going on here. We're going to be using uh, Spell Ray pretty much all the time here. Go, Spell Ray! And then I can use my tech attack points, or tech points I should say, to level up the weight on Spell Ray, which should be awesome. I don't think it died. Don't think it died. It did! Nice. Okay, uh, I don't get points for that. You can see here, uh, Chaos can use Tornado Slash and Arrow. I believe Arrow is going to be better at this point. Um, and I'm actually going to stop him here. Uh, shorten the AI circuitry. Very, very nice. Now we can go ahead and kill this guy. 81. Nice. Very nice engineering. And we can get the points for that. Rapid beam gun. Like I said, beam. We're going to want to prevent that, and that's still a lot of damage. A lot of damage. But of course, Chaos is strong against it. Uh, so let's try to use something new. Okay, so we've got Tornado Slash. Electro Upper. And Angel Wings. I have no idea where those things come from. I don't know whose power is at all. We're moving on. Blaster. Blaster. Our cannon. Actually, I don't think I even need the our cannon, but we're going to do it because it looks awesome. For a reason. I love, like, her little pose after the cannon comes out. She, like, she, she moves her hips or something like that. She has some. Yes, you have said that already. I don't know, for whatever reason, I do enjoy that. You don't get very many points from these guys, unfortunately. Especially when it comes to ether points, you just don't get very many. We'll take some scrap iron now. Scrap iron is always appreciated. We just don't know why yet. So let's blow up all this crap over here. Uh, and we can get an antidote. Friend repair A. And a skill upgrade S. And I don't... I, don't remember how much each of those does. I, I still have a ton of upgrades to use, but I haven't done it yet. Going down the west side here, because if you remember, there was quite a treasure hoard on this side. I'm not sure if you forgot to come down here before, if you would be able to go down here this time, but because I've never forgotten to come down here the first time, so uh, just try to make sure to come down. Well, get everything before the attack starts, and that way you can get it all again. It makes so much sense. Let's head over to the east side. If I remember, this was a biosphere. 
it is a biosphere. Very nice. So let's head down here, and I think I need to head to the right first. Did not even see you through the fire, dude. 